So as this is an event where people are coming in from all around China, the people who are not living in Shanghai, everybody needed a COVID test, which is good. So this line here, this very long line, every single person has got to show their COVID certificate. And that is how they're not going to be spreading it. That's good. Although it is a pain sometimes to get so many tests, we've had probably nearly 10 now. Um, you know, that's why we're still safe in China. So we're ready to go into NWC. Let's go. Got me bunch. Yeah, okay. All right, Messi. So NWC is absolutely huge. We are in the first exhibition hall. We're gonna be walking around this event for the next couple of days, showing you 5G AI applications and sort of green sustainability moving forward in the industry. Right now, we're heading into the opening ceremony and uh, we're about to see the first keynote. Give you a few highlights and yeah, looking forward to it. Let's go. So they've had a number of industry leaders up on stage talking about the 5G AI cloud computing and big data now it's all gonna come together or start to come together to help industry progress and how hopefully by, by that they're going to start um, being able to help people that are kind of left out from the digital revolution. If this innovation can get to the, the sort of poorer people, then it will benefit society overall. There was there were snippets about, they found from statistics that if, if an area has a mobile broadband connection, it can actually um, alleviate poverty by up to 4%. Uh, within 12 months and up to 7% within a two year period. For the remainder of the day, we attended a number of other keynote speeches by industry leaders and found out what the future holds for telecommunications. We discovered there's a big focus on sustainability. It's now the next day and we're here at the exhibition halls and we're gonna take you around and see what cool things we can find to show you. Where are we? We are in Shanghai at Mobile World Congress 2021. Yeah, so it's a very special event. We've been invited here by Huawei and we are right here at the Huawei stand, which is huge. They got a bunch of cool things to look at. So stick around for the whole video and we'll take you there. So here I am experiencing the AR uh, graphic on the screen. As you can see, I'm in this little garden area and uh, it's sort of being displayed and rendered on the screen right now. And there's a big ass dinosaur coming over here. I don't like the look of him. He looks a bit scary. <laughs> Oi, I don't know about that. He's scaring my ears. Is he gonna breathe fire on me or something? Holy moly. All right, what's the next animal coming up? What are some of the real life examples for this AR technology? 60% are mm. used in the uh, travel and the entertaining. Okay. Yeah, the, 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 the industry. And then we also use in the uh, education. Oh, okay. Like for the kids. Like yeah, the kids, yeah, yeah. It's very interactive. Yes, yeah, so when you open the books, the, the, the AR. Yeah. Uh, maybe oh, I can, can see that working yeah, very well yeah. in schools, yeah. yeah for work. English learning and things English like that. Learning, yeah. Very interactive and, yes, and yes, fun. Yes. Yeah. Good stuff.